Hi, my name is Tom. I'm the creator of the Polaron do-it-yourself drum machine. And in this video, I'd like to show you how the Polaron's parameter lock system works. I have created a short pattern using just the default sounds of the Polaron. Let's listen to that. Okay, so what if you would like to change the sounds? Polaron has six instrument channels here and each channel has six parameters that you can change to adjust the sound. If you are in parameter set 1, this means you are changing parameter 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6. If you just turn these knobs like that, you won't hear a change in the sound. Let me mute the other tracks here, so that we're just listening to the kick drum. So, in order to use these knobs here to change the sound, you have to arm these steps for parameter recording. You can do this by pressing the parameter lock button and choosing individual steps. If you press the button again, you will leave parameter lock mode. So, individual steps, or as a shortcut to that, you can press the track button and it will automatically select all steps in this track for parameter recording. So, let's change parameter 1 now that we are in parameter lock mode. As you can see here, from this light, we are now recording. As soon as the loop loops once, you will override your parameters. So there needs to be a way to stop recording. You can do this by leaving parameter lock mode. or you can pause parameter recording by pressing any of these three buttons. So let's activate recording, pause it, activate it, pause it. Let's change parameter 2, which is the decay of this channel. Okay. Let's deactivate these three steps and just work on those. Okay, something like this. So, that's the basics of parameter lock recording. Another cool thing you can do now is you can copy paste these steps and it will copy paste also the recorded parameters. So. Let's say I want to have the sound of this step on some other steps. Just press the step and press other steps. And we have now copied the settings from this step onto the target steps. Let's do that again. Let's adjust the sound of this step. Okay. Copy it. Okay, that's nice. Let me unmute some more channels here. Another fun thing you can do 
is you can parameter record on several tracks at once. So you could, let me go to channel 2, you could activate some of these steps for parameter lock recording and some here and maybe the whole track here and let's also select this one here. So let's see what happens if we start to change the parameters now. Let's deactivate some. And maybe also activate some of the kick drum. Activate another track. Okay. So, as you can see, parameter lock recording is a nice way to get interesting sounding patterns. And I hope you understood how to activate steps for recording go through different parameter sets, temporarily pause recording, and leave the mode. Thanks for watching and see you!